Uh, last year I did a video of this bike, a review of it, and uh, quite a bit of interest, but people were asking how I made this raised backrest. Um, so I'm going to show you how I did it. You can buy them from America if you want, but there are, there's a metal plate you buy, it's about a hundred pound tank comes here. So I decided to make my own, and you can make one if you copy my idea, for probably four or five pounds. I'll just sit on it first and show you how comfortable it is. Like a little mini gold wing. Um, I'm six foot tall and this is right comfortable. I've just got it forward one notch, as you know, it's just backwards and forwards. I've got one notch, it's nice and on my back, uh, works fine. So I'll show you how I did it. Right, first we've got to take the seat out, this backrest. You probably know how to do it, but. Uh, there's a catch on that side, there is another camera here, you'll see it in a minute, what we're doing, but there's a catch here, but before you do that, these two poles that go through, on this side one, the right hand side of mine anyway, there's a little Phillips screw, and that stops the seat going right out, I keep saying seat, but I mean backrest, stops that going out, and stops any pinching it, now you've got to undo that screw first, now mine was really, really tight, tight than duck's bum, you need a really good Phillips screwdriver, make sure it fits properly because if you chew it up you'll make a mess of it and you want to save these nuts that you take off in case you want to sell your bike later and put it back as it was. So undo that screw first, you'll see there, then you just press this little clip on the other side and it'll slide out. Now I can't take this to bits because I've covered it with leather cloth as you see, but as you take your seat out this framework will be tied up here under the seat and that just slides in low down there. So the first thing you've got to do is undo these three nuts here, they're round-headed nuts, undo them and then pull this away from here, take it off and you'll see three short studs in here and they're fastened into the seat from the back. Don't try and move them, you'll mess your seat up. We just want this for a minute. So you've got this off in your hand now I've got a mock up here, a piece of wood, I'll show you this, take that way around, that's best. Uh, it's not the right side, it's just a spare piece I had left, but we're in a piece 28mm high and 35mm at the bottom, and it's 12mm plywood, okay? Now you've got this off, so we're going to place it on top, low on the top of the wood and draw around it. Uh, and then mark your three holes and do them accurately, make a good, uh, neat job of it. And when you've got that, move it to one side, cut round, and it'll chamfer as I've done here. It'll be narrow at the top, and 35mm across the bottom. Uh, what I did next, uh, drill through, drill right through about a 10mm bit you want. It's a little bit more than 10 but you want a nice tight fit. I'll show you why in a minute. And then also I routed the edges, if you've got a router, if not do it with a, a plane, just route it off because if you want the leather cloth it, it'll wrap round better uh, with a round edge. Okay, so drill through and then because these studs aren't long enough in here, they're very short, you need a stud jointer. Um, and that's what it is, if you can see that, it's 12mm long and it's got a uh, 6 mil thread in it and then you want a little nut or stud to go with it you want a set of those, three of those that's 12 mil and what you'll do when we put the top in you screw these three jointers onto the nuts here and I loctited mine on screw them on and then you get your piece of wood and press it on and it'll fit perfect because you've drawn around there it'll fit nice at the top press it on and uh, this stud joint will come more or less flush with the top of the wood so then you want your three little studs here with probably either Loctite or a spring washer on and they'll fasten on and that's the top part done. Okay, that's that bit. Then, now before you do fasten that on, we need this piece again to put at the bottom of the wood and draw, no there's no need to draw around it, sorry, put that level at the bottom of the piece of wood and mark your three holes. There's three holes again that's going to be screwed to the bottom of the wood. So screw those, screw those three holes out, and again I did a 10 mil hole. And also while I was at it, I don't know, but I thought that 
perhaps the bottom of your spine might press against the wood at the bottom here. So what I did, I cut a semicircle out round there, just so it keeps the bottom of your spine off it. Okay. Now, we've got this piece now, and what I've had to do, or what you're going to have to do, you'll see these go in at an angle, and at the back they'll round it off a bit and stick out, and if you don't do something about it, it won't fit flush. So what you need to do is get a fastener bit, slightly oversized, that's, I think that's 25mm, and drill at an angle, same angle as they are if you can, just drill in there part way, don't go right through, and drill two holes to take these raised bits to the side. And as you can see there, it's just part way through. Okay. Now you can fasten this bit first, I don't think it matters to which you do first, but uh, this bit, now this frame, will fat on, onto here and sit in, those two points will sit in there. Then the top piece goes on there with your nuts on the top and that's how it's done. So you end up with that size there. Now I've covered mine in leather cloth. What I did, I covered the front. I, I bought some off eBay, about half a metre for about five pound, I think it was. I did the front first, and I just stapled it round, and then I cut the back roughly to shape and folded it over. And all I've done, these are just some new drawing pins. Well, I degreased them with some acetone, and then I just sprayed them with an aerosol can in black and pinned them on with that. So it makes quite a neat job. And that's it, and that raised it about five inches. You don't need more, the more you raise it, the further the seat goes back. And uh, it'll be too far back, I would think. Also, another thing, when it is on, it does, to be honest, it does make it a bit more awkward if you're carrying a passenger. I've sat on it, but it's not very good, so if you're carrying a passenger, you might want to take it off and use them as your backrest, I don't know, but I generally ride solo most times. Uh, so that, uh, that's how it's done anyway. And, your captive, sorry, not your captive, your um, studding pieces and your screw that cost you two or three pounds at Wix. Uh, you might have a bit of 12mm plywood, uh, and that's about all you need. A bit of leather cloth for another five or so if you want to do that. If not, you could just paint it black, but I thought that looked better that way. So that's it, so I hope that helps with that. And then the other thing somebody asked me about was this accessory bar, if you like. Uh, I needed, because we have got handlebars like a motorbike, I needed somewhere to put my remote control for my headsets and my GPS. And also I put my, if you've seen my video, I've got a GoPro camera fastened here as well. And all that is, is a piece of, it was soft but it was a trial of a piece really. And that's, uh, that's about 38, 39mm, about the width of the outside of your bars. It's about, I'll tell you, 30mm square. And all I've done, I've lucky I've got a lathe, so the centre part, I just turned it with a lathe and I made it different thicknesses because this was thinner than that, so I just made it, it's just a trial piece really, but it works fine, so I've left it. And then, when you've, when you've done that, if you haven't got uh, a lathe, you could do it with a chisel, just a bit at a time and make, make it round with a chisel. Um, and then I drilled a hole through the wood here at a bit of an angle on both sides, and then I got uh, a tie wrap, it's about... Um, I think it's one I could find actually. It's about 9 or 10 mil anyway. Uh, put it over the back of the bar, round this, in, there's a piece of the plastic here, yeah, there's a gap at the back of that. You can go round there, don't trap your wires underneath, round up through and pull it tight and one that side and then just pull them tight with a pair of pliers. And that don't vibrate, don't move and you can mount what you like in there. So that's, that works quite well, so I'm quite pleased with that. So those are the two things I've done. And. Uh, Anyway, thank you for watching. I uh, hope that helps. What else have I got? Oh, the pure windbreak. Uh, you see that in the video. I've got a pure windbreak here. And that is fantastic. It really would make a heck of a difference to the screen. So that's another little thing. But I bought mine. You can buy them in the UK. They're about seventy pounds. But pure is a Spanish firm, and I bought mine from Spain for forty-eight pounds. They posted, and it was here within a week. So uh, it's the smaller one. They do bigger ones, but I just got a smaller one. That, that works a treat. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Uh